Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all shapes and sizes, welcome back to Thrust on ATV. I'm a Dama Taco. Today, I'll be giving you guys a little bit of an update on the latest news and transfer rumors going on at AC Milan as of late. Now, according to Sky, they are reporting that Milan has a whopping transfer budget of zero euros. Now, they're not sure it's around zero. It could be zero or it could be zero. It could be either of those numbers. It is not confirmed, but it's definitely one of those numbers. I can promise you that. Now, with that being the case, it has led to Milan having to resort to the classic free signings, as we all know so well as Milan fans. And uh, I know I think that's something that you know, we kind of saw coming with all the postponements of the Chinese investors coming in. Uh, but some of the names I would actually welcome to Milan with open arms. Some of those being Caceres, Cuadrado, Miguel Veloso, and the one and only Simone Zaza. Yes, the legend himself, the penalty king. Um, you know, he's a guy that Milan could definitely use to take their penalties. Because, you know, without Balotelli, who's going to knock them in for us, right? Am I right? Exactly. So... Um, yeah, with a lot of those players, I would definitely welcome to Milan. Some of those deals would be loans. Some of them would be uh, loans with options to buy. I'll see Milan trying to bring those deals into the next season, hoping that the Chinese investors actually take over Milan and can invest the money, uh, thus allowing them to buy the player permanently for the likes of Caceres, Cuadrado, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, exactly. With people like that, I would definitely welcome to Milan uh, should the deals go through. But you never know. Milan like to get their fans' hopes up and let them down time and time again. But let's just let's not be negative. We gotta be positive. With a budget of zero euros, you just you gotta be a positive guy, you know? It's just you can't complain about that. It's zero. Like who has zero? Nobody. Exactly. Just Milan. Now uh, Di Marzio is reporting that Galliani has met with heavily linked Bashitas midfielder Sosa in Ibiza, where he did not take a pill for those of you who get that reference, and that the player will cost around five million euros. Um, obviously, Milan's transfer budget, as you heard recently, is at zero. So this may rely upon um, the likes of Carlos Baca going or another sale or anything along those lines. Um, or maybe Milan will find a way to sort of make up those transfer funds to play, uh, pay for Sosa. Now, a lot of people are against Sosa. Um, you know, if you look on Twitter, YouTube, anything, people aren't really a big fan of getting a player who's that old and, you know, hasn't really been able to play at the top. Um, but realistically, I don't think it'd be a bad signing. I don't think we're going to be signing Messi, Ronaldo, Suarez, or any players like that. So, I mean, logically, you would want the best players you could possibly get. But I think Milan needs to take a step back look at what their realistic target should be, for example, Sosa, and, uh, you know, players that can get them to Champions League. Not necessarily players that can win them the Champions League, but players that can help them take those big strides in uh, trying to achieve the goal and actually getting in Europe because that's something Milan haven't done for a long, long time. Um, you know, a perfect example of that is you see Fiorentina. They don't really make big, big name signings, but they constantly get Europe, at least Europa League, sometimes even Champions League, with a squad that doesn't have many fancy names because they get players who fit a certain system and, you know, it sort of goes with their squad. So I think Montella knows what he's doing with a player like Sosa. Should he be, you know, interested in that player? And it's not just Galliani, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Now, finally, La Repubblica has said uh, that Milan are interested in the Fiorentina uh, midfielder Badai. Um, obviously a player that Milan had been interested in in the past and now with Montella the interest is kind of ramping up as I'm pretty sure he did coach him in the past if I'm not mistaken and uh, you know he's definitely a player that could fit Montella's system that he likes you know having players that are good with the ball you know that can move it around rather than just being like Montolivo who passed it backwards but anyways we will not get into that as I said we gotta, we gotta be positive zero million euros guys be positive but uh, Fiorentina being the typical Fiorentina in deals with Milan have not set up a meeting with the player and have no inten intention to do so whatsoever um, his agent even accused the club of not paying his commissions so uh, they definitely want to get out of Fiorentina at least that's what the reports are saying and uh, Milan seems like a destination where the player would like to go um, logically you look at Fiorentina and uh, Milan trying to do business together, you know it's not going to work out too well because as we've seen in the past with Jajic and other players of that sort, Fiorentina will go out of their way to make sure Milan get no benefit from any deal possible, especially including their players ever since that moment where uh, they snagged that last Champions League spot from Mexes against Chesen, I believe, in like the last minute. Um, you know, ever since then, at least I think so, Fiorentina have hated Milan and they're never going to make any possible deal that could benefit Milan. So I do think that they're going to do everything they can to not let Badai go to Milan and help out Vincenzo Montella. Um, but I think if the player pushes for the move and uh, shows that he really, really wants to leave, that they're going to have to let him go to Milan should be the club um, you know, that he would actually prefer. 
Anyways, that is all for today's Transfer Rumors videos. Leave in the comments down below. Are you okay with Milan having that whopping budget of 0 million euros? Do you think it's, you know, necessarily a solid move to be going for players like Caceres, Cuadrado, Miguel Veloso, etc., etc.? And uh, do you think Milan need a player like Simone Zaza or Sosa, for example? Leave it all down in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more news from Rossini TV. It has been Adamo, and as usual, Forza Milan.